Here in the U.S., the most vegan-friendly city, according to Wallet Hub, is New York. The survey ranked the food scenes of America's 100 biggest cities, and the Big Apple came out on top thanks to extensive restaurant choice and the availability and cost of vegan products in grocery stores. The supermarkets in the city are not only adapting to changing food preferences, the grocery industry as a whole has been forced to adapt to e-commerce and technological changes. My next guest is the owner and CEO of one of the leading supermarket chains in the city, Morton Williams. Avi Kena, thanks for being here with us. Thank you, Michelle. Thanks for having me. All right, great. So as we just saw, veganism is a big trend. In terms of changing eating habits, what are you implementing in your stores? Sure, great question. Uh, the biggest change in eating habits in New York is really the prepared foods segment. And when you combine prepared foods together with the health segment, whether it's organic or natural or now vegan, that combination creates a very powerful force. So over the past 10, 15 years, we've had to adapt what we sell to focus more on health conscious type foods that are also made to go as opposed right. to cooking at home. And of course, fresh produce has a higher turnover rate, I imagine. It's more expensive uh, to keep and to maintain. And you're also dealing with the challenge of prices coming in cheaper from online stores that don't have to contend with things like rent. How are you adapting to that, the big challenge of online grocery shopping? Well, the answer is not easily. Um, um, we've had many challenges over the years, and we've been able to navigate through them successfully. Uh, the internet has really turned the brick and mortar business on top of its head. Um, supermarkets are less affected than other retailers are, but we are affected nonetheless. Um, we are, it's very difficult to compete on both price and convenience. As you said, we have rent, we have electricity, we have labor costs, we have, um, our, our stores are all in New York City. We have New York City regulations. Right. Uh, so it's very difficult. Another interesting dynamic in New York is um, every high-tech startup, food delivery startup, wants to be in New York. It's dense, it's highly visible, it's close to Wall Street. You can make it here, you can make it anywhere. So that's yeah. why they're all targeting New York. Okay, you mentioned technology. What are some of the trends that you're seeing in the supermarket industry as a whole in terms of technological adaptations? Oh, sure. So on one hand, we, have, we obviously have the internet and being able to deliver very quickly. Um, on the other, what people don't see is everything that goes on behind the scenes, where we use technology to help reduce costs and make ourselves more effective efficient um, from payroll payroll um, maintaining labor costs overhead controlling them right. um, setting prices the prices we set are all centrally not just to the cash registers but to every single scale in a store it allows us to um, compete very quickly uh, based on price when we need to all right Avi I know that you're also a very big supporter of Israel have you seen the BDS movement, the boycotting, divestment, and sanction of Israel and Israeli products having any kind of impact on the supermarket scene in the U.S.? Yes, yeah, so our, our stores are primarily in New York City, and the BDS movement has not affected us at all in New York City. In fact, all of our stores have a proudly made in Israel section that does very well. And across all of our stores, we also uh, promote, um, there's a charity we're involved with called Innovation Africa. Um, it's an Israeli charity. We built solar-powered water wells in Israel. Each of our stores has posters letting people know about these Israeli innovations saving lives. And in fact, last week, we started a, a new program allowing customers to donate money towards innovation. So Africa. you're going in the complete opposite direction. You're promoting Israeli products. You're promoting Israeli charities and Israeli innovation. But you've also been pretty active in terms of taking a stance against countries that boycott Israeli products. And you had an incident, I believe it was in 2014, where you boycotted a number of products out of Turkey. What was the story there? Yeah, we actually boycotted every product out of Turkey. And you know, my mother has taught me never to say anything bad about anyone, <laughs> but there's one exception. Um, the ruler or dictator of Turkey, Erdogan, um, 
has said the most vile, awful, anti-Semitic and anti-Israel statements. During the Gaza war, not only did he take the side of Hamas Muslim Brotherhood, but he also um, spewed vile remarks such as comparing Israelis to Nazis and Hitler and killing women and children to prevent and babies to prevent them from growing up and saying that Israelis well, yeah, Erdogan's an established anti-Semite so what did you do in, in your store to try and counter that influence if you will so we we announced a boycott of all Turkish products into our stores and it got picked up by the international press and uh, we got hundreds of emails in response and I've got to tell you Michelle 95 percent of the comments were positive right and people applauded us and have you had an opportunity to take any other ideological positions through your grocery store y yes great story a few years ago uh, the city of Reykjavik Iceland announced it would boycott all Israeli products so literally within hours of the Iceland uh, we, we made our right. our uneasiness with this known to, known to the Icelandic uh, consul general within a couple of hours we got a phone call asking us to meet with the Prime Minister of Iceland, who would be visiting New York in a few days. Right. Not only we met with him, the Foreign Minister, Defense Minister, Ambassador, etc., and we are now close friends with, with the Icelandic leaders. Right. In fact, last December... Um, I mean, I, yeah, we're, we're going to have to leave it there, but, but great okay. story and great to see you making Wonderful. an impact politically through the aisles of your grocery stores in New York. Morton Williams, thank you so much. Thank Avi you Kena. so much.